Hello, hello, hello. Hello, peeps. This is Diana Randall Burrow. That's us. We want to say hello to our many friendly and happy and we love them Prescott Pickle peeps. That's right. We love you guys. If you're not a Prescott Pickle peep, hopefully you will be soon. Yeah, we hope so. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. I'm wearing my spring clothes. I have my new little speaker. My yeah, new little... yeah. We had uh, a couple upgrading. of comments that uh, sound could be better, so... We're working on that. Yeah. So this is for you. Yeah. So uh, we are here today. I'm sure a lot of you have heard in the national news about the fabulous NAR lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love so it. The lawsuit's been baking for a while now. And then out of the blue, NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors. That's right. They uh, proposed a settlement, which looks like it's going to be approved and will go into effect mm -hmm. in July. That's right. And so we wanted to talk about what that means, what that means to buyers, what that means to sellers. Before we go into that, though, just saying, you said the national media. You know, you, you see. Well, that's true. That, yeah, is, yeah. that is the key point, national media. <laughs> yeah. You Don't see. get hysterical, folks. Yeah. You, you know, you see, <laughs> you see news stories and most news stories, you're reading the news because you don't know about the topic. Uh, but every now and then, you know a lot about a topic and it's in the news and you get to see firsthand how bad the news is skewed oh just skewed and completely over the top and inaccuracies and speculations provided as fact and ju just horrible so uh just a warning uh even even outside of real estate uh our our national media is really broken right so just Correct. so you know that so if you've read anything that's particularly scary, chances are you, you've been the victim of our national media. That's right. We're not running scared. We're not. As a realtor. Scared. Yeah. We are not. Yeah. We are fine. We are calm, cool, and collective. Yeah, yeah. Things will be addressed and changed. And yeah. So uh, some of what we're going to say is our speculation as well. And I want right. to say this is fact. This is where we think things are going. The facts are in the settlement, uh, number one, is that buyers will have to sign a buyer agent agreement with their realtors. Employment agreement. Employment agreement. So for you coming in in July, yeah. get ready. You will have no choice. Yes. It won't be us making the rules. Yes. It won't be the state of Arizona. It will be a national. It'll be a national thing. Mm -hmm. We cannot open a door for you unless we have a written contract. We, Correct. And that will be true of all real estate agents. No one will be able to open the door unless they're under contract with you. Mm -hmm. So uh, just be, you know, a lot of times people come in, they're really anxious about signing things. We will share in advance everything you need to, all the forms you need to know. Right. And what they what mean, they mean and, and why do you have to sign them? Before you come in, because uh, we don't like people to sign things that they don't know, mm -hmm. they don't know what it means. Uh, but just be aware that Everyone, all agents will force you to do that. Change is afoot. Change is afoot. Change is the, afoot. And yeah, this is unfortunately something we don't have any control over. Yes. Or any other agent. Yes. It will be required by law. Yes. So, so honestly. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Honestly, <laughs> from our point of view, this is a good thing uh, because people can come in and say, I don't want to sign anything. Then we spend days and days and months and months helping mm -hmm. them find the home. And then once they find the home that they like, they can just reach out to the listing agent and say, oh, I don't have any representation, so I'm cheaper, right. so you know, I'm going to come in at a lower price. Now, that has, that has not happened very many times to no. us, maybe no. a couple of times, mm -hmm. uh, but it is out there. Uh, I know other agents in other areas of the country uh, get that a lot. And if you try to get people uh, to sign a contract so they can't do that to you, well, this other agent's not making me sign, so I don't want to sign yours either. Well, right. now all the agents have to sign. So which that's is, good. Yeah, it makes it a more point. even playing yeah. field. We all will be in the same position, and we all will require that from any incoming buyers. Yes. So if you are a buyer coming in town, don't wig out. Don't get nervous. And don't be like, what does this mean? It will simply be like you will sign that you will agree to work with us mm -hmm. and there will be a certain commission rate yes. discussed. Yes. And don't don't panic. It's, yes. it's standard. Well, part of the reason why this was driven by the DOJ is just they want people talking about commissions and negotiating mm -hmm. commissions more than they have been. Uh, and uh, they have a point, I guess. There were some shenanigans in Arkansas, which is where this 
lawsuit started. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are a lot of sellers who really had no gripes, but they're raising their money in the class action suit for free money. Mm -hmm. uh, the big winners are, of course, the plaintiff attorneys who will walk home with hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> uh, this, the sellers in Arkansas probably got maybe a grand or two each. <laughs> so all of this driven by that. The other thing is uh, yep. in MLS, you can no longer advertise a commission for the buyer agent. Which to me, I think is funny because it yeah. used to be all that has to be revealed. You better oh, yeah. reveal that. It better be in there. Yeah. And now suddenly, you oh, can't say you can't say anything. I'm yeah. like, okay, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Yes. We'll do whatever the rules say. So that is not to say that sellers don't can't pay uh, the buyer agent commission. They just can't advertise it as Correct. such. Mm -hmm. Now, what they can do is they can say, we will offer two and a half percent uh, towards buyer closing costs at close of escrow, which is basically the same thing. So there's a huge loophole there. In some, here, here's my take on what that's going to mean in across the country. In Prescott, it's not going to mean much. Here's why. If I put a sign outside, a for sale sign in front of a home in a city like Phoenix, I'm going to get people calling me. I'm going to get agents calling me. I'm going to get buyers calling me. I will have plenty of buyers just off the sign, just having it in MLS. Buyers will contact me. That doesn't happen in Prescott. The number of phone sign calls I have received. That's I right. Could, I could count on one hand. That's right. And that's because our I buyers. I three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. That's I, it. In the whole time we've been doing yeah. this, maybe three calls. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't happen here because the vast majority of buyers are coming from out of town. Mm -hmm. So buyer agents have to go out and find these people and talk them into moving to Prescott and then find the subdivision because they don't know the city at all. Right. Then they got to find the home. And, you know, so the, the buyer agents do a lot of work here. And if the only thing the buyer agents do here and some, this is all they do, they bring the buyer. Yeah. If that's all they do, that's value added for our sellers. So I don't think things are going to change very much in Prescott just because, and, and our commission rates have recently gone down when mm -hmm. price appreciation uh, was going through the roof. Commission rates did go down. So they were responding to market forces. I really don't think they're overpriced. Um, I really don't think it's going to affect us much. Now, in areas where buyers are a dime a dozen and there are, you know, thousands of what we call nephews, you know, uh, uh, agents who essentially do sales for their, one or two houses, one or two houses for in-house to help their family, yeah, help their family yeah. or whatever. And they generally don't know what they're doing, you know? Yes. Yeah. Those people have always been overpaid and they've been benefiting because of the system. They will probably get drummed out. Uh, at least we in the markets, see. yeah, mm -hmm. we shall see where the where the uh, buyers are easy to find. But your dedicated buyers agents, like we are, um, we really for us, it's not just opening a door and showing you a house. We like to build a relationship with you as the buyer. Yeah. Uh, usually, we become good friends long yes. after the fact. Um, we like to be so present for our buyers. We're not just doing a house tour and then I never talk to you again. Yeah. I've got people who call me. Can you recommend a good trust attorney? Can you recommend a good handyman? Can you help me? I need to sell something. Uh, what are some good doctors? We we are so full service. It's um, yeah. and, and we it's also, almost exhausting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we also get involved with our buyers very early on yes. in the game. It's mm -hmm. not like we wait until someone's ready to buy right. and, and then we talk to them. We will take you on a buyer tour long before you've made up your mind you're coming to Prescott. And we will yeah. stay in contact with you until you buy. And then after you buy, we get calls from past clients all the time asking us about this or that or the other thing. We have a lot just, of, yeah, we have a lot of buyers that yeah. takes them a year, a year and a half to finally pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. Um, and we are happy to hang in there with you yeah. because it is a huge decision. Yeah. That's a lot of moving parts. And we just try to really help you along. We try to remember how we felt when we yeah. moved here from Texas. So we get it. We get it. And we want to hold your hand the entire way. Yeah. It's not just showing you three houses or giving you a map and saying, oh, drive by and let me know what you think. Now we're with you together till the end, That's my right. friends, That's together right. till the end. So when you hear about all this and um, don't get rattled, don't yeah. be like, what does this mean for me? It really doesn't mean... A whole lot. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to work and you, this and out. And you may be thinking, yeah, we'll work this out. We're going to work you it out. You may be thinking, oh, now they can't, they can't promote uh, 
they can't advertise the commission. So now I'm going to get stuck paying the commission. A lot of potential buyers are thinking that. Yes. Well, the, the short answer is you always were paying the commission because the commission was coming out of the purchase price and the purchase price had that built into it. Had been adjusted. Correct. Yeah. So in the past, the seller always paid both sides, seller and buyer. Now it's going to be like, well, the buyer will pay for the listing agent, but the buyer's agent will have to, will have to negotiate that with the buyer. Yeah. And like he said, the price that was always all commission for both sides right. was always built in. Yes. Long ago built in into yes. the price of the, the selling price. Yes. So this is nothing new. It just, yes. it just felt different. Yes. So, you, you, <laughs> you know, the, instead of the price being fully loaded, including all commissions, the commissions may or may not be part of that number. You just got to do the arithmetic. But I really don't. Th you're talking a shell game in the end. There's Correct. Only, there's only so many dollars involved. And I, I really don't think that number is going to change very much, particularly for markets like ours where buyer agents have to earn their keep. Yeah. yeah. We work hard. We work hard. <laughs> yes, we do. So please don't get rattled if I see you in the summertime and I say, hey, we got to have you sign this. It's not me. It's the law. Um, understand why and how that started and mm. where this is coming from. Um, it's nothing we've done. We've always had people sign the last year and a half. We've always had people sign employee agreements and everybody's yeah, pretty yeah. chill with we've it. We've been kind of doing that. We've anyway. been doing that yeah. anyway. So nothing's really changing except for that now it's going to be law. Yeah, so yeah. that's the way it rolls. So don't get rattled. Uh, we're still here for you. We're still here to give you full, full service as a buyer's agent, uh, educate you on what our town is about, educate you on different neighborhoods, what they all have to offer, HOAs, taxes, etc. That's right. We're here for you. Absolutely. We're here for you. So anyway, just want to give you a little heads up in case you've been hearing about this in the national news. Uh, God knows we've been hearing about it. Yep, Everybody's yep. calling us. So we thought time to make a video and let you know this, this will be negotiated and worked out yeah. and life will continue on yes. as we know it. This yes. is not earth shattering. Despite what the national news. Despite what the national news. Oh, <laughs> it's all going to be good, folks. Absolutely. It's all going to be good. You're still going to get excellent representation on the seller and buyer side. Yep. Um, we just have to readjust how it's going to be approached. Absolutely. And uh, our next video for next week, we're going to talk about how this is going to impact sellers. There so, you go. Yeah. Chances are, if you're buying, you're also selling. So you might want to look for that one coming. Yeah. So week. today was just talking about the buyer, the buyer side, side of it. Um, there will be different approaches taken. Absolutely. And concessions made that mm -hmm. will still address uh, the buyer's uh, commission but in a way that will still be fair and, yeah. and equitable, uh, but just a little different than how it was done in the past. Yes. So don't freak. Absolutely. Don't freak. I'm not freaking. We're not freaking. I'm not freaking. We're not freaking at all. We don't love freak. our people. We love yep. to give our best that we can to all of you. And that will never change. And that will continue forward regardless. Absolutely. So anyway, so that is our little info for the day. Check us out next week to hear about the lawsuit and seller side. That's right. So uh, anyway, we enjoyed sharing this little info with you and can't wait to see you. We've got a couple people coming in. Yep. yep. Can't wait. Spring Let's make here. it happen. Spring Absolutely. has sprung. The buying season's on. Let's go, people. Now's your time. Get out here and get a fabulous house while you while it's still out there. Yeah. yeah right? Absolutely. Because uh, volume's a little low. Yeah. The, the good ones are getting snatched up. Yeah, inventory's low. So. Yeah, inventory's yeah. low. Things are getting snatched up like that. So, all right. We hope to see you soon here in our lovely town. Love to show you around. Check us out at... Pickle411.com. That's our free information site. Whether you're a buyer or seller or somewhere in between, That's there right. is something that will amaze, astound, and inform you. So don't miss it. And Pickle. hopefully just make you laugh. And make you laugh. That's what it's all about. Mostly make you laugh. We just want to have a good time. Absolutely. All right. See you later and mm -hmm. hope you have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye.